Welcome back, Motorheads. This is Gasser Finds on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, first, got a 1954 Chevrolet for forty thousand dollars. Well, this old Chevy is definitely dressed up to play the part. Now, me personally, I always like the looks of these old Chevys when they've been gassed. I can't help myself, but then again, I'm very partial to this old body style Chevrolet anyway. Now, this one here definitely has a pretty hefty price tag. I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you think he's swinging for the fence? Think it's his right price? Or you think he's just completely lost his damn mind on what he's asking? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, got a 1955 Ford for $30,900. These old Fords, in my opinion, also made some damn good looking gassers. Now this one here, definitely, there's some room for improvement on this one here. One thing I do like is, if you were to buy this one here, you can take and finish it the way you want. It doesn't have the right blingage in the paint job for me to be a true gasser. But, what do you guys think of that price tag? Because this episode, I'm going to listen to what you guys say these cars are worth, and I'm not going to give my opinion. So hurry up and hit that comment box, curious to know what you guys think it's worth. Well, this one here, they're claiming it's a 52 Chevrolet, which we can all see that it's not. It's a damn Studebaker, but he wants $18,000 for this one. I mean, personally, I think it's cool when the oddball things have been taken and made into a gasser. You don't see a whole lot of Studebaker gassers. You just don't. I mean, at least I don't in my neck of the woods anyway. You guys might see them all day. But anyway, what do you guys think of this here? How cool is that? And what do you guys think of that price tag? I'll leave it down in the comments. Uh, next got a 1965 Dodge for $38,000. I'm not going to lie, I don't like purple, but purple is definitely working on this little Dodge. I like what they've done with the paint scheme on this one here. Now, definitely, I'm not really a big Mopar guy. I always thought Mopars were a little funny looking, but this here overall is a damn good looking little gasser. I kind of dig it. So we're going to need all you Mopar No Car folks to come out of the woodwork and tell us what you guys think this old Mopar is worth. Uh, next, got a 1959 Ford for $13.5. If you've never seen one of these little Anglias get down the track when they've been gassed out, oh man, you're missing out. These things are a trip to watch. I can only imagine what it would be like to turn one of these things loose with that kind of power. Is it worth the asking price? Um, that's got a 1950 Chevrolet for $18,000. I'm definitely digging the color scheme on this car. A little bit more so than the car, even though I like the old Chevys. I just love these two colors together. I think they look really cool on these old 50s cars. I know it's not the blue that they had in 1950s. So don't cover me in the comments on that. But at least tell me what you guys think it's worth. Uh, next got a 1951 Pontiac Sedan Delivery for $9,500. Now this one here is one you definitely don't come across very often. It's the Pontiac Sedan Delivery. You'll come across Chevys and Fords and all that stuff. But not the Pontiac. Very seldom do you come across it. I wish they wouldn't have cut the holes out for the windows. I would love to have this car. But what do you guys think of this old Pontiac? And what do you guys think of that price? Leave it down in the comments. Um, next got a 1949 Chevrolet for $72.90. I can definitely see this old 49 here turning into a very nice gasser with a little bit of work. Body is a little so-so on it from what we can see from the pictures here, but I don't think it's too far gone to make a pretty decent looking gasser out of it. You know, paint goes a long way to make these things look really damn cool in my opinion. But what do you guys think of the little 49 here? Leave it down in the comments. Um, next, got a 1963 Studebaker for $7,000. Now, when I think Gasser, the Studebaker Lark is the very last car that would come to my mind. But it makes absolute sense. They don't weigh much of anything, and you cram a big enough motor in there, this damn thing's absolutely going to fly. Now, overall, I don't think it's a bad-looking little Studebaker. Wouldn't be my first choice for a Gasser, but hey... Some people like the little Lark. I don't mind them, but what do you guys think of this one? What do you think of that price tag? Uh, next, got a 1963 Mercury for $24,000. 
Now see, I've always liked this body style Mercury. I always thought they were pretty damn cool. And this one here as a gasser, it's definitely got my vote because I think it looks pretty damn awesome as a gasser. I think I get that tail end down just a tad bit more. But overall, I don't think it's a bad look, a little Mercury right here. If a person was to take the time and throw some money at it with some nice candy paint, a lot of metallic, a little bit of hidden shadows and designs underneath that candy, that would make this little Mercury one hellacious looking little gasser. But what do you guys think of this little Mercury here? And what do you guys think of that price tag? Leave it down in the comments. Uh, next got a 1965 Chevy Nova for $52,000. Now, as most of you guys know, I'm not a fan of Novas. I never have been, and, and I just don't really care for them. I don't know what it is about them. It's not my favorite thing. But I will say, this one here is probably the best looking Nova I've seen for a while, just because it's been gassed. Now, even though I still think that's kind of weird at being a gasser, but whatever, you know, that's my opinion. And I know you're coming for me in the comments. Tell me I'm crazy because I don't like a Nova, or I'm crazy because I think it looks better as a gasser. You all don't need to come in the comments and tell me I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. I lost my mind years ago. That's what happens when you work on cars and get around chemicals and inhale weird things. It, it orders your brain, and sometimes you just don't, I don't even know where I'm at. Send help. I need an adult. Uh, next guy's 1957 Chevrolet for $32,000. This is a good looking old 57. You can't deny that. Everybody does a 57. So, you know, I'm not always on the bandwagon with the 57. Now, if this would have been a 57 Pontiac, I'd have been more on board with seven holes on bill. But, you can't deny this is not a bad looking car. It just isn't. It is actually a pretty decent looking 57. I like what they've done with it. I dig in the interior. And I'm definitely digging the four speed joystick in the floor right there. But, what do you guys think about the 57? You think. I think these are overplayed, everybody just oversaturated, everybody just goes batshit crazy over these things, and I don't really understand all the hype. But anyway, what do you guys think of this, and what do you think of that price? Leave it in the comments. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one.